In today's video tutorial, I will show you how to make colorful collar made in Romanian point lace technique. For work, you need balls of yarn, mat, picture in real size, pins, sewing needle, crochet hook, beads, and scissors. Let's begin the work. We divide our work on some parts. Firstly, I'm making flower of different quartz. It is going to be the bottom part of collar. Then I show you how to sew inside part of motifs. Then join them together with help of the brides or just sew them together. The second stage is I'm pinning cord. Then I show you how to sew this inside part of the collar. The last stage will be joining two parts together. Make a picture in real size and pin it on the mat. Now let's begin the work. I'm beginning the work from the bottom part. It is going to be motifs made of different colors of yarn and cords. I have already made the first flower. Now I show you how to make the second one. In this case I'm using yellow colors. I have already pinned my cord and have filled it up the inside part in some places. I have sewn all places of continuity. Here and here I joined them together with help of the sewing needle. In this case I have sewn the corner, here the same, and I was working in this direction. Now remove the pin. Here how it looks. Now I show you how to work with inside part. Let's make the fill and stitches. With the needle go through the loop of the cord. With the needle go through the loop on the opposite side. With the needle go through the same loop. We have done two threads. I'm going to work with strings. With the needle go through the loop before I skip it two loops, go back with a needle between threads, like this. With a needle go under the first thread and with a needle go through the second loop. Go back with a needle go under the second thread. Let's begin the next string with a needle go under the first thread. We we'll skip the next loop, skip the second loop and with the needle go through the third loop of the cord. With the needle go under the second loop. You should continue working in this way till this point. I have done all threads.
with a needle go through the stitches with a needle go between threads with a needle go under the all threads wrap these threads one and two I skip one thread on each side Skip the first thread and wrap another thread one and two. I'm going to work with threads. But in this case, I will skip one thread on each side. And wrap another thread twice. Here what we have with the needle go through the stitches with the needle go through the stitches till this point. The bottom petal is done. Work with the next one. Now I show you how to make the mesh in this way. With a needle went through the stitches till this point. With a needle go through the second loop. With a needle go through the second loop. With a needle go through the second loop. Begin the second row. With the needle go through the stitch of the previous row, the working yarn is under the sewing needle. Like this. So continue working in this way till the end of this row. I have done the second, the third and the fourth row. Let's make the last row. With the needle go through the stitches of the cord. And let's make the fill and stitch. With the needle go through the loop of the cord. And to make the fill and stitch. Pull a little bit. With the needle go through the loop of the cord. And make the fill and stitch. Through the next stitch. And so on. I have done the second petal. Now I show you how to fill in up the next one. With a needle went through the stitches of the cord till this point. Now with a needle go through the loop of the cord. Now I show you how to make the bright. 
with any they'll go through the loop of the cord on the opposite side with a needle go through the same loop the base for the bright is made and let's make one more thread wrap this thread as many times as you need like this pull a little bit like this pull a little bit and pull a little bit and so on continue working on this project with the next part of this video tutorial thanks for watching